guys, welcome back in the kitchen again with Chef Ricardo Cooking Show, guys. I'm always marinating my meat, and I will definitely show my fans and show you guys how to marinate your meat at home, and also put them in the fridge or the freezer. If you put them in the fridge, that means you're gonna cook them in the next day, all right, after you marinate it. If you put it in the freezer, it can last it for the end of the month, and you can cook it for a special occasion, you know what I mean? Like, no, I just brought myself some drumstick, and I want to marinate it and I want to put it down. So I'm just sharing you some tips and ideas of how to marinate your meat and put it in the freezer or the fridge and prepare for cook it whatever you want to cook it. All right, guys. Secret of behind the scene of marinating your meat. You know what I mean? This is the way how you can do it at home without stressing yourself and giving yourself any headache. You can take it in easy, especially in this time and days which we are in, in at the moment. So my little tricks and secret recipe which I'm gonna give you, if you wanna tweak it yourself, you also can tweak it yourself and you know what I mean, put your flavor also inside of it, you know what I mean? And if anything you wanna share with me, you can say Chef Ricardo, you could do this, you could do that and let me know. All right guys, so stay tuned, don't go anywhere, get yourself prepared and marinate your meat and freeze it. Do not waste meat, do not waste stuff and all these things. Stay tuned, all right? We shall. Nice and lovely guys. So basically I just brought a pack of drumstick and I want to marinate it and put it into my freezer and probably cook it sometime in this month. Um, so basically what I did, I removed the skin from the chicken and I washed it off into some lime juice or you can use vinegar. Some people use salt, but I only encourage you to use salt. Vinegar and salt, vinegar and lemon or lime is the best thing to use to wash your meat. So let's dig into it, how we're going to marinate this beautiful drumstick today. First thing I must say to you, if you have one of these garlic press, it's very welcome. Chef Ricardo have it on the website, ready at the moment, all right? So go to my website and get your garlic press. Now I'm gonna be squeezing two cloves of garlic inside of it, just like this. All right, the ingredients is so easy, guys. And not only that, you can also tweak it yourself by adding some more flavor also to it. Now I'm gonna put another two cloves of garlic inside of it, all right? And the way I'm doing this chick, this drumstick, you can either bake it, fry it, whatever you like to do with it is up to you. But you know, what I mean, I'm just giving you some tips and ideas of how to marinate in your meat and put it down at home. All right. So we use four cloves of garlic and that beautiful chicken drumstick right here. We're gonna be using half a white onion. So that's the half a white onion right there. That is just lovely guys, honestly. It's fantastic and amazing. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a spring onion. That's a spring onion right there. Secondly, to be honest, I have some of my natural blending green season. It's on my YouTube channel, the way I make this lovely green season. I'm gonna be doing another version coming up soon. So I'm gonna put half tablespoon of it right on top of it, just like that so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Um, This is a natural blending season, which I'm gonna be using half tablespoon of it right there like this. Look at that, beautiful and nice, fantastic, lovely. Look at the color. It is amazing, guys, honestly. It is amazing. As you can see for yourself. Now, what I'm going to do, inside of this bowl I have chicken season and all-purpose season mixed together. So basically, I'm just gonna simply put a tablespoon. And that is lovely, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I got some, this is some 
smoke paprika mix but if you don't have this one you don't have to worry yourself it's just a smoke paprika mix put about half teaspoon and I'm gonna put some garlic powder now if you don't have this one this is for chicken and steak it's just like dry herbs pepper garlic and you got pepper garlic and you got also pimento seed inside of it I love it though but if you don't have this one don't worry yourself Gonna put some black pepper. Lovely. And I have some smoke pap I have some paprika. I'm just gonna put a little bit of paprika. Just a little bit. Lovely and nice. And neat. Guys, if you have time, fresh time is better for you. But inside of my natural blending season right here, I have everything inside of it. So I don't really too have to worry myself. But if you don't have the natural blending season, you can just use fresh thyme, fresh, everything fresh. Just chuck it in inside of it and it still come out lovely. Nice one. So we're going to put roughly about two tablespoons of ketchup. You don't have to put ketchup, but that's Chef Ricardo recipe. And I'm just marinating my meat to put it down for it to soak. What you're going to do next is simple. You're going to get a gloves, which is more safety and all these things to use to rub up your meat all right so if you get the gloves on for your meat and just rub up your drumstick like this with this drumstick you can either bake it fry it whatever you like to do with it is up to you but it's just amazing when you marinate your meat and put it down When you marinate the meat like this and put it down guys, honestly, you will see the difference, you know what I mean, of your, when you're cooking your meat, the flavor and the taste, you will see. Look at that now, that is amazing. See how that look nice? Look at that, beautiful. Not only that, what I'm gonna do now is just transfer it into my bowl right here. Because the flavor, whoa, it's gonna be amazing. Just like this. You just once you marinate it, you just transfer it into a nice double bowl, which you know what I mean, you can put your meat into and put it down for it to keep soak. And not only that, this can last up to a month in your fridge, in your freezer. If you like this recipe, as I said, always said, leave your comments and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave your comments and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Tell a friend, and a friend, and a friend. Honestly, and that's the way we normally do it when we are in the kitchen and we are sharing some lovely recipe for you guys, for you to happy at home in your own kitchen and to share with your family tips and ideas of how you can do things at home and prepare yourself ahead of things right now at the moment so preparing the meat preparing anything is very important with this meat you can put it into your freezer freeze it up to a month and use it whatever you want to use it in that month all right put it in your fridge and cook it the next day and get the flavor what you're looking for also stay tuned chef ricotta and i'll see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe bye bye